Hey everybody, welcome to the first double coverage of this season. I'm Ben Fredrickson, this is Dustin Dopirak, new Tennessee football rider, and we're here to give you the first look at Tennessee's season opener against Utah State on Sunday. Um, got a chance to talk to Coach Jones today. Um, he, he was able to, to give us his thoughts on Utah State and pretty much uh, what, what everyone who knows about this team mm. is gonna tell you. It's a, it's a strong team, it's, it's, it's familiar with big game situations. Uh, playing a football team, that uh, we all know is a very, very talented, very good football team, very, very confident football team, and very deservingly so. Uh, they've won 25 of the last 33 games, 11 and five in their last 16 road games. Uh, very well coached. Uh, presents many challenges for you. First of all, offensively, uh, we all understand what we're in store for with Chucky Keaton. Uh, he can make every throw. Uh, from the quarterback position, but he adds a whole nother dynamic. So Chucky Keaton's a, a tough guy to deal with. Obviously, he, come, he missed a few games last year with an injury. Numbers didn't look as good, but before that, I mean, I think, think he threw for over 3,000 yards as a sophomore. You know, kind of one of those outside fringe, not really Heisman candidates, but somebody that people talk about at the very beginning of the year because he's got the potential to just do a lot with his feet and with his arm. Uh, and, you know, Bush Jones pointed out, it's going to be really tough to simulate him at practice this week. They're going to have Josh Dobbs, uh, Pig Howard, even I think Evan Barry are going to be three guys they're going to have to use to just try to simulate his speed and his quickness. Yeah, uh, Coach Jones was asked if the Vols will be better at stopping mo mobile quarterbacks, something that they really couldn't do much mm -hmm. of last year. And he said, we'll find out in a hurry. And, yeah. and Chucky Keaton is going to be a guy who can let them know how they've how they've gotten faster on defense, um, for better or for worse, pretty right. pretty soon. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Jones also made a good point. He said, I'm not so worried about how Utah State's going to come out and respond to a packed house at Neyland. He's expecting a salad. He says, I'm more worried about the shock factor of my own team with right. 19 19 newcomers on the on the two deep. You're going to get a lot of uh, immediate impressions on how some of these how ready some of these young guys are to play. Yeah, absolutely. He pointed out that uh, the open practice was the biggest crowd that a lot of these guys have ever played in front of, and that was 40,000. Maybe you know didn't even come close to halfway filling this place, and uh, so it's going to more than double, uh, and and so it's going to be just a big adjustment for those guys. Utah State's played in big games. They've played in bowl games. Uh, they've had a couple of big seasons in a row. I mean, that's that's a program that's used to winning, and as he pointed out, you know they've learned from great players even though they've lost a bunch of guys you know there's been sort of a wait your turn sort of situation there where this Tennessee team a lot of guys are going to get thrown right into it from high school you know it's a bigger adjustment playing in this environment for Tennessee than it is for Utah State even though it's Tennessee's home stadium but again we won't know until game day and how they respond I'll have a little bit more uh, of a feel for this football team once we go through a game go through a week of preparation yeah, we mentioned UT's too deep that came out yesterday. Uh, there are still some positions that are up for grabs a little bit there. Uh, Coach Jones said he's not ready to name a starting kicker yet. Mm -hmm. That competition will be ongoing in game time decision on that. He's also not going to clarify between a backup quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, that competition will be continuing to ongoing. It could be a game time in-game decision. He said both uh, Nathan Peterman and Joshua Dobbs have certain packages that right. they can they can run when they're in there. And but he did get some news on the defensive on the defensive front. He said Kurt Majid has been back to full practice and he's going to be ready to. Go. How important mm. is that for this team to have him on the field? Yeah, that's big. I mean, he's a guy that can, you know, get a little bit of pressure on the quarterback and can can make some plays in the backfield, that sort of thing. And, you know, a athletic guy. Obviously, he's he's been held out a lot. Uh, I don't think I, I personally haven't seen him practice yet, so I, I don't even know what he looks like on the field yet because he's missed everything that I've been to. Uh, so so it's big. I mean, just a guy that has some level of experience, who's, who's been in games, who's made some big plays. Uh, you know, they don't have a lot of those guys, so they the more they can get, the better. Yep, that'll do it for us. You can follow all of our coverage of the game, of the of the practice leading up to the game at GoBallsExtra.com and follow us on Twitter. I'm at Ben underscore Fred and Dustin's at Tennessee Beat.